Many YouTubers want to create thumbnails that are eye-catching and clickbait like rice gums. So in this tutorial, I'm taking you through the step-by-step -step procedure on how to create a thumbnail like rice gums. So let's get started. Alright, so I'll be using Photoshop and if you have any other software that you can do better with, you can try this in it. So the first thing that you do is go to file and you create a new document so the documents the standard youtube size or the standard youtube thumbnail size is 1920 by 1080 you can choose to reduce your resolution and it will fit you better so you click ok when you are done now the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to open my image and i have a picture of rice gum over here so in place of rice gum you can you know replace your picture with it so let me send this picture to my created thumbnail and then I'll press ctrl T to resize the image like this so it has filled my image you can check on rice gums thumbnail most of it and um, it he does it this way so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select my polygonal laxo tool and then I'm going to make a selection of the picture that I just brought in now when you get to this part unlike other tam uh, tutorials that you will have to take this behind it and then make a selection you just bring it to the start point like this and then you create a selection for you now when the selection is created right click on it and make a copy of the selected area so we have the selected area here and we have the picture itself over here now when the picture has been selected right click and go to blending options then select stroke now on the stroke you can choose to add any color that you want but you can increase the size to about um, 10 or something like that 10 would do okay and then you can change the color to white like this one when you're done you just click ok and then you hide this one so if we are done with the picture this is how the picture is going to be like you can choose to increase the stroke or something like that anyhow you want it now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add the test to it so to add a test you select the test over here that's the test tool and then you write what you want to write so in this case I'm going to write um, rice gum all right so when you are done like this one rice gum normally wants to add some distortion and other stuff so i'll go to this side and then i'll select the arc over here then i will change the paint a little bit like this and then i'll change the distortion a little bit also like that all right so you click ok you can make other changes to it if you want to all right, so you position it very nicely like this or where you want it to be but most at times he wants the actual uh, the actual word or the actual keyword to be bold and different from the rest so he makes selection of this thing you make a selection of the keyword in your thumbnail or your test and then you select this thing over here you can increase the font and then you space it out a little bit so that it will be different from the rest of the test so you click ok and then you make position and then some adjustments like that 
okay but the next thing that i would like to do is um i'm going to right click on it and i'll select rasterize since i don't want all the tests to be the same i want to space them out so the first thing i'm going to select the polygonal tool over here and then i'll make a selection around the test like this and then i'll right click and cut it out so i have these two remaining and then the other one so i'll make another one here sorry all right another one here and then i'm going to cut that one also out sorry you have to select this one then you cut it out all right so i have three separate things over here now so when i'm done i'll select the first one that i cut out that's the thumbnail over here and then i'll go to blend options i'll add some stroke to it about eight that will do and then i'll go to gradient overlay i have the gradient over here already you can check out the figures from here so you do that if you want to make changes you can also do it and then you click ok now these two happens to be the same this one and this one it has to get the same uh, blending option so I'll go to blending options I'll add my stroke again and I'll make it 8 just like that of the thumbnail then I will go to color and then I'll change the color to white sorry you have to you have to keep the uh, the color white like this all right so you click OK and then add some gradient to it go back to the color and then decrease it a little bit like that so you have something nice over here and then when you are done right click on this one copy layer style select this particular one and then right click on it and paste layer style so you can see that we have this set out very nicely so you can go back and select this and position it very nicely like this for all that i want to do in my case when i'm done i will select all the three group them by pressing ctrl g so that i have a group of it like this and then i'll make a duplicate and hide the first one just in case i want to edit another thing over there so i'll right click on this one and convert it to smart objects and then i'll right click again and rasterize so i have this one i have it in bulk like in one folder or it has become one i've grouped it into one so i'm going to apply some other options blending options on it again now the first blending option that i'm going to apply is the stroke so i'll change it to white and then i'll increase it out a little bit like that and then i'll add some shadow to it I'll increase the distance to 20 the spread I'll increase it to about uh, 15 and then the size I'll make the size about so you can see that you will have some shadows over it just like that you see okay so when you are done with this you can just you see you see the difference okay so you can just position it where you want it to be like all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to i want this place to be um, a little bit darker or i'm going to add some shadow over this one so i'll make a new layer on top of this layer by clicking here to we'll make a new layer and then i'll go and select my gradient now the gradient i want uh, this part to be this color so you, you pick the color from this section and then you click ok 
now you can drag here like this a little bit and you drag another one here another one here and then you drag another one here okay so you can decrease the opacity a little bit like this or better still leave it that way all right so the next thing that i want to also do is i want to add some adjustment to the color or the picture over here that's my image so you go to image and then you go to adjustments you can go to first of all brightness and increase the brightness a little bit and then some contrast and then you click ok go back and select the hue and saturation add some hue to the image to make it a bit more dense too much all right so something like this and then you click ok now you can see it has some kind of shadow around that place so you can also add a new layer on top of this one select your gradients and then you select this particular gradient you can choose to make the color black and then you click OK and just like we did to the other one uh, just like we did to the other one you make the various selections like this and then you make the various selections alright so let me bring this one down to the image alright and so I'll press ctrl T on my keyboard and then I will adjust it a little bit like this and then I'll go on to reduce the opacity a little bit like that or better still let me increase the opacity all right so I think this is okay and any other thing that you wish to do or add to your thumbnail will be at your own risk so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did i hope you like my channel and subscribe leave your comments and other questions in the comments box and i'm going to answer all of them any parts that you don't understand just question me in the comment box and i will give you an answer thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial